All right, good morning. Welcome to our unique devotion. So today, um, I'm still in the book of Colossians. Um, I'm going to read chapter 2, verses 8 and 9 and 10. Just a short one, and then I've got a God question for you. So, here's the scripture, the most important part. Beware, lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit, according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. That's the end of the reading. It's short. Um, so in the beginning, uh, he says about uh, beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit. Um, don't confuse that, that he's condemning philosophy. He's saying that don't let someone use philosophy in an incorrect manner. Don't let them use you know, big theories and understandings of human knowledge to try to convince you of things that um, are hard for us to understand. Sometimes we take our small-mindedness, create a large theory of understanding, and then pretend like that's the end of the theory and that completes the thought um, in something, um, then we go and we tell people about this theory without understanding there's more beyond that. Um, in science, they have had theory after theory after theory on how things have been made over centuries, thousands of years. People have had ideas um, and theories about how the earth, they used to think the earth was flat. Um, that we were the center of the solar system, that we were the center of the universe. Those theories, they were global theories. Everyone on the planet was told that these, that the earth was flat and that's how it was and they assumed and made maps accordingly. Um, but then later on we find out that that theory is not correct. There's more going on, there's more to it. Not that they were completely wrong because the earth sort of feels flat. When you're walking, you don't feel the turn of the earth um, but as time passes the theory changed so that's what he's saying here about you know don't let someone take their philosophy and that be the end all um, there remember there may be something more to it that maybe they're not completely wrong but they don't have the total thought process so you have to take philosophy in a sort of debate mode always open always on the table don't let them just guide your life in deceit uh, according to what they're saying. Um, I just wanted to point that out. It, it, it stood out to me a little bit, but the question that stood out to me for the day is, do I feel complete? It says here in the end that you are complete in Him. You know, we may be sick, we may be um, ailing, we may be going through struggles in life that make us feel like we're not complete. But in reality, in Christ, in God, we are complete because he created us um, to be in existence. And because we are in existence, that is enough to make us complete, no matter our circumstances in life, no matter where we were born, or what we've become, our, our ailments, our messy life. None of that um, matters to God because we are complete. And as long as we continue to communicate with him, and, and read scripture and, and uh, ask him questions and dialogue on a regular basis, praying 24-7 uh, to the best that we can, um, we will become stronger in the areas that feel messy and wrong and use them for his glory in some form or fashion. I'm not going to go into like tons of examples. You can think of many, but let's just use one. Say there's a person in a wheelchair that they are paraplegic. Now on one hand, they could choose to feel incomplete and that God hates them and sit in their home and whittle away the rest of their life. Or there are many that stand up and say, let's use this as an opportunity 
they go out and work with people to do marathons and all kinds of crazy exercise stuff in some way, some form or fashion, and then they use it to raise money to help other organizations and always glorify God. You know, on one hand, you have someone who feels incomplete because they feel like they're missing something, a body part in this case. And on the other hand, someone who feels completely complete even though they are missing the body parts. So you know, think, about, think about that today and the question, do I feel complete? And know that you are complete in Him. So on that note, I hope God gives you all the blessings you deserve and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. We will continue the book of Colossians.